my name is Dominic. I'm here to give a lightning talk about uh, a project that I'm working on called Learn Storybook. And you can find it if you have your computer open at learnstorybook.com. So a little bit about me. I'm a product designer um, at Chroma. And we build Chromatic, a tool uh, that helps you test uh, UI components and component libraries. Um, previously, I designed, I designed developer experience at uh, Apollo GraphQL, which you might know, and uh, Meteor. Um, which is a JavaScript framework from a little, little while ago. So Storybook is a, a UI component development environment. It's used by teams um, like Dropbox, Airbnb, um, New York Times, Atlassian, all the other folks on this list, and, and more. And if you're going to build, uh, if you get a job building front end today, it's pretty likely that you're going to end up using Storybook in one way or another. But uh, so, so what is, what's the hype about? Why do all these companies actually, like, have, why have these companies adopted Storybook? And if you're like me, uh, you probably, you're probably sitting here thinking, like, who, who is this guy? DevTools are a dime a dozen. Why is he up here? Um, so I'm going to go over why, what makes Storybook special. So to go back a little bit, uh, UI development is undergoing a bit of a renaissance. It's inspired by Vue layers like Vue and React and Angular. And they all have this thing called the component construct, which means that really it's, it's decomposing complex UIs into simple components. And folks no longer think in pages, but components. And so Vue makes it easy to break down these like, complex UIs into these modules. And you have tools like props and slots and events. Uh, and states to kind of govern how you, how you actually render this UI. Um, and these new techniques, actually, for component development uh, warrant a couple, some new tools that we don't actually have. Um, and, uh, these tools help developers concentrate on building, uh, on building UI components in the first place. So what is Storybook? It's a, it's a tool that lives alongside your app in development mode. And it helps you develop components in isolation. You supply props, slots, and events to mock up every component permutation. And this gives you greater coverage of every possible UI state, uh, every possible state that your UI can end up in, which in turn makes your UI more durable. If you're working on an app like Facebook or Airbnb or Dropbox or GitHub, you actually want this. Uh, here you can see the, the relationship between your app, um, your component library. <laughs> you can see the, relation, the relationship between your app, your component library, uh, and Storybook. So your app uh, consumes components. Your component library is where they all live. And Storybook is responsible for building and indexing them. So what's, what's the best way to actually get up to speed on Storybook? I noticed that a lot of you haven't heard of it. Uh, well, I'm here to talk to you about that. LearnStorybook.com. Learn it's a fast and approachable way, um, and free, uh, nine chapter tutorial that, that uh, takes you from zero to one. It takes you from zero to one with Storybook. Um, I co-wrote it with my partner at Chroma, Tom Coleman, and a bunch of com contributors from the Storybook community. And the goal is to kind of share it with, share this method, uh, methodology of development um, around the world. You'll walk through essential UI component techniques uh, while building a uh, task box in a sauna-like app uh, from the ground up in Storybook. Um, and this format is actually really great for project-based learners um, like myself and probably like a, a few of you, a lot of you. Um, you also stay in sync uh, with the, the tutorial with uh, real code commits. And you'll finally, or you'll learn about component-driven development, a process that builds UIs from the bottom up, starting with the smallest components and ending at screens. Uh, component-driven development uh, helps you scale the amount of complexity that you face as you build UIs. Also, you'll, get, uh, you, you'll see how to test and deploy Storybook um, to streamline your UI development workflow. And this guide is approachable to everyone, whether you're a senior, a junior, a developer, or a designer. Um, 
And it's, it's particularly great for experienced devs who uh, want to get up to speed really efficiently. Um, it just covers the, the, it's like the Cliff's Notes for, uh, for this tool. Um, it's great for new devs who want to learn about what's, uh, about the tool, the tool used in, on professional teams in production environments. And finally, it's great for uh, product designers who want to know about like, the nuts and bolts of building a UI component library. Um, since we launched the React edition, uh, we've seen uh, 3,000 unique developers, um, 185 stars, uh, 12 merged PRs, seven contributors, two languages, um, and this is 13 days ago. So there's a, a, a lot of like, uh, latent interest that, that we're, we're filling here. And now we want to bring the same uh, high quality tutorial to the Vue community. Um, and I need your help. The thing is, I'm a React person, and somewhat of a, a Vue person, but like, I, don't, I don't build it every day. I can't w work my way around it. Um, so our, our straightforward example code is actually built in React and Redux. And, if, and what, what we're looking for is for someone, maybe a few of you, to help uh, port it over to Vue and, and Vuex. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty simple uh, example code. And uh, yeah, it'll help introduce people to Storybook for Vue. So this is a great opportunity to dip your toes into a high impact High visibility open source project that kind of that impacts, uh, yeah, all of the, all the folks in this room that haven't that did not raise their hands earlier. And since it's tightly scoped to content and a relatively straightforward example app, um, it's perfect for folks that are actually new to open source. Uh, you can s help by sending uh, PRs to uh, to our view code. Um, you can help us by copy editing. And you can collaborate with other Vue folks to, to share a storybook with, with the world.